12. Ownership. What is the most precious thing that a person can own? The most precious thing a man can own is his name. Go clear your name and make sure that there are no stains on your name that you aren't prepared to handle or can live through. Is it me? Or does it seem like the most successful businesses are people's last names? Trump, Simmons Mattress, Johnson & Johnson, Albrecht Discounts, Aldi and Trader Joe's, and more. So protect your most prized asset, your name. That is why people will sue for defamation of their name and character, because they still must work and get jobs and make money. Unfortunately, that may mean having to hold back some of your opinions and not be as open to talk about certain subjects, at least not until you feel like you are in a position where that won't influence your income and impact your life. Again, we must play the game until we get to where we want to be. If there are some other interests that you would like to explore that won't necessarily be attached to your name, you can always use a pseudonym. The world is your stage. Be creative, be bold, be fearless, and move with a plan and purpose. It betters your chances in this world. Again, be aware of anything and everything attached to your name. Unfortunately, you can't turn a blind eye to certain things and act like they don't exist. Credit is attached to your name. So check your credit and play the credit game until you don't have to. Create leveraging opportunities so that you're winning. Pay everything off early. Monitor your debt to income ratio. Be on your shit. Get better bookkeeping slash money management practices and prepare for whatever changes the government may throw at you. And by the time this book comes out, we will already be further into a recession. Remember, the world goes on and never cares about you. Life goes on. We know that history repeats itself. You can read about the problems that other people wrote about during their time on this earth. What else should you seek to own? Whatever is not a liability and can be turned into an asset. Not necessarily owning a home, but start thinking about what people will always need in their everyday life. What can't people go without? What is a necessity? How are we making our money work for us? Again, by the time this book comes out and with the direction of where the world is going, my suggestion would be into crypto, digital currencies, and prepare for the meta world that people have already been conditioned for unknowingly with the creation of applications like Instagram, Facebook, Meta, Twitter, and Snapchat. Any type of collectibles holds more value than the crap you waste money on every day. What should you avoid celebrating that you own? Depreciating assets like clothes, cars, and trips that aren't being utilized in a way where it's coming directly from your pockets as a 100% loss slash expense. Lastly, own your shit. If you own your shit and look in the mirror and get your shit together, who else is stopping you but you? The faster you look in the mirror and say you're prepared to sacrifice and do a little bit each day towards your goal, then you are one step closer. So create that vision board with dates and get to affirming the life that you want to live. Run it up to spend it right.